Hey everybody, it's Hallie O'Brien, and I missed you terribly this weekend. Lots of Olympic stuff has been going on, so we're just going to jump right in to today's video. Woohoo! Also, check out my cool new shirt. This thing is the best. Usain Bolt, the fastest man on the planet. Here, put that on a business card. <laughs> See if that doesn't impress people. Hi, I'm Usain Bolt. Oh, what do you do, Usain? I run faster than any human ever. So if you run like me and the rest of the human race and you're not Usain Bolt, running seems difficult. And the faces of these runners express that as they should. And then of course there's Usain, showing us how simple it actually is. He looks like he's photoshopped. Are you kidding me? How's he so fast? If I was running, I'd be like, oh my God, I am so fast. This is fantastic. I'd be like, everybody's taking photos of me. I better, I'm gonna make myself look good. I'd be like this, <laughs> in the cheap seats. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I feel this exact same way when I'm the first person off of a plane. I get off the plane, I beat everybody else, everybody else is still stuck on there getting their bags. That's me. He's like the smirkiest runner ever. But you can be when you're the fastest human on the planet. I had a few people send this one to me. This is fantastic. I'm gonna scroll your names here. Olympians, it's important to hydrate. And that's damn near impossible when you're trying to drink out of the wrong side of the water bottle. <laughs> She enters the water bottle, she's like, yeah, I'm still going for it. I'm still trying to drink it. It's definitely the bottom of the bottle, but I don't care. We've all done something like this in one way or another. I mean, I've picked up a water bottle and not known the cap was still on and tried to drink out of it. I don't know that I've ever picked it up completely upside down and tried to squirt it aggressively in my face. It's like she didn't even notice that there was no water coming out. It took her friend to say, no, no, no. That's not how this works, here you go. The only thing better that could have happened is if Kanye West stepped up and was like, I'm gonna let you finish, but here, hang on. Let me turn this over for you. <laughs> so this girl's on Tinder and she's scrolling through and she, I don't even know how it works. I'm like scrolling up like it's a news feed. I'm pretty sure it goes left or right. Uh, so she's on Tinder, she's swiping around, she's going left, she's going right, zigging and zagging. She comes across Joseph Schooling. She swipes right, he does too. They make an Olympic love connection. It's beautiful. They get into a little bit of a dialogue. It's nothing special. I mean, it's not like we're reenacting a scene from the notebook here. It's Tinder. But he's very nice. He goes, hey, how's it going, beautiful? She goes, oh, it's going well. How about you? He goes, good, Thabkis. What you up to? Oh, if only she had answered. She'd have been like, oh, you know, I'm just getting some half price apps at Applebee's. What about you? And then he'd say, nice. I'm in Rio de Janeiro competing for Olympic gold against Michael Phelps. So we're kind of like doing the same thing. However, the conversation stopped and she only realized who she was talking to when she was watching the Olympics and realized that guy that isn't Michael Phelps that just won gold is the guy from Tinder. She's like, oh, that name sounds familiar. She's watching TV, Joseph Schooling, Joseph Schooling. Where have I heard that name before? Oh, if you like this video, click that like button, share it around to somebody who's gonna like it too, and comment down below a funny moment if you got them. You're making the Olympics hilarious for me, so thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's video.